Hi, this is Nick with a short video on fixed income for CFA level one candidates. Fixed income is a vast topic. It takes a full day to cover it in enough detail. Uh, there are many concepts, quite a lot of them are pretty mathematical. I want to focus on just one of them, which is duration. Now, there are three forms of duration. You may be familiar with Macaulay, Modified and Effective. I'm not going to focus on the difference between them, technical detail, but I want you to think just briefly in terms of the time till you get the cash flow. So if you've got, for instance, a 10 year bond, duration is roughly how long you're waiting for those for that cash flow. And so you've got coupons from the beginning all the way through for to, to the end of 10 years, the big cash flow at the end, and you'll be waiting on average, let's say around eight years. Now, duration is expressed either in terms of how long you're waiting or in terms of interest rate risk. If yields go up by 1%, then your value of the bond is going to fall by the 8%. Now, just to get a gut feel for duration, if it's got a long, if a bond has a longer maturity, it's going to have a longer duration. You're waiting longer. If a bond has got a lower coupon, it's going to have a longer duration because you get less money in those early years. So on average, you are waiting longer. So let's just do an example. Let's say you have a 10 year 5% bond trading at par. So it's got a coupon of 5% and a yield of 5%. And let's say interest rates drop to 4%. What happens? This bond is now paying 1% above the required return. We need 4%. The bond's paying 5%. So we're better off by 1% each year for 10 years and therefore you'd pay more than let's call it 100 more than 100 percent for that bond and the amount by which you'd pay more is roughly one percent per year so if it's a 10-year bond it's not quite 10 percent because you've got to discount it it's a 10-year annuity of that one percent and the present value of that is around your eight percent and that's where your duration comes in so if your yield moves by one then the amount of time you're waiting is linked to the amount the bond price will change as the yields change what about if there are embedded options how do embedded calls and puts work so if you've got a callable bond or a puttable bond you may you may know the answer which is that both of them reduce duration embedded calls which allow the issuer to buy back the bond early and embedded puts, which allow the investor to sell the bond back early. They both have the same effect, which is they reduce, they curtail the life of the bond. Now, you can think of this also in two ways. It's a very neat link here. You can either think in terms of price compression. So if, the, if it's callable, the issuer is going to stop the bond going up too much. You remember the bond price will rise by less than other bonds if yields fall. So the issuer will prevent the price going up too much. If it's a puttable bond, then the investor will stop the price from going down too much if yields rise. So other bonds will drop, a puttable bond will drop by less. And so they both have the impact of reducing price compression, which is the definition of duration that uses interest rate risk. But another way of looking at this, which is actually quite neat, is that if you think of a callable bond as the issuer saying, we are terminating this bond's life early, if you look at a puttable bond as the investor saying we're terminating this bond's life early, then it's going to act as a shorter maturity bond. So let's say you've got a 10-year bond. Let's say it's callable in three years' time. If it's either callable and the issuer is pretty likely to call it, or let's say it's puttable in three years and the investor's pretty likely to put it in both cases, it's going to act more like a three-year bond than a 10-year bond. And therefore, as you would expect, the duration will be rather shorter than the eight-year duration that we talked about earlier. Now, fixed income is a pretty hefty topic, but if you try to get behind some of the ideas and definitions, you'll find it a lot more understandable.